I've gotten a lot of questions about what I was carrying when the HISD police uh, took me into custody. And so uh, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview and I'll mix this in with a video about uh, some of the other things that I own. This is a, let's get a good focus here. This is a pistol based on the 1860 Army which would, now the 1860 would have had a regular grip frame and a much longer barrel. The barrel was like almost eight inches long, um, which was pretty much standard for the time. Uh, this is a custom made holster, Kydex, that I had made for it locally. Um, and that is what I usually use to carry this. I also have a leather holster that when I open carry this, that is more in the cowboy genre but looking at this okay so this obviously the barrel has been shortened to three inches it has this bird's head grip all right it has a, the action has been cleaned up and uh, works very well very smooth you can see these the little nipples in there these are called cones or nipples uh, the original Back in the day would have been the appropriate terminology would have been cones but in this day and age we call them nipples these are made by a company called slick shot and if you see they have that little that little hole in the side of them um, the open top colts which are this, what this is see there's nothing there's no strap across the top it's called an open top colt they have a, an issue sometimes when you fire them pressure comes back through this nipple and will push the cap up between these two little grooves here um, which will pull the cap back through this hole and drop it down in that section so when you drop the hammer again for the next shot it won't fire these uh, slick shot nipples what they do is basically blast the cap open so that it doesn't go back through that hole and then as you cock the hammer Okay, it falls around here and gravity takes over and the, the old cap falls out here. There's actually a little channel for it, though you can't really see it. Um, this particular version, they call these the Avenging Angels. This particular version is made by Pieta. Um, it's, it, it's large, okay, you can see. I can cover it with my hand. It'll fit in the palm of my hand, but this thing is not light by any stretch of the imagination and it's in 44 caliber now 44 black powder as a caliber is actually 45 caliber but to they call them 44 to prevent there being um, any confusion with uh, more modern firearms you can see here it has a case hardened frame the hammer is also case hardened it's a nice looking, it's a nice looking little pistol. I, I'm very happy with this pistol. And I, in the summer months, I kind of favor it, even though it's blued steel, um, and you have to stay on it to prevent rust. I, I like it because it conceals pretty well. In the winter months, I have another one that I, that I tend to prefer is based off the Remington. Now in the near future, um, this is fixing to get ivory grips. Um, and this back strap, I'm gonna have this back strap engraved with, uh, with my name. Unfortunately, I would like to do some more engraving on this gun, but there's really not any place, Cipietta, and then over here, black powder only. There's really not any good places to, to engrave it anywhere else maybe across the top of the barrel but i don't know engraving is expensive and uh i think i'm going to do some more engraving on one of my stainless steel 1858s look at that i cut my finger dang it uh, but i'm just going to engrave i think my name across the back strap there so there you have it and uh kydex holsters I'm not a big, big fan of Kydex holsters, but this one has been pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. 
works okay. I'm not real happy with this mechanism here. Uh, most of my other Kydex holsters have a much smaller blade and I am partial myself to uh, paddle holsters. You don't have to like that. You don't have to like them. It's what I like. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, how do you safely carry one of these with six rounds fully loaded? Because you can't put the hammer down on a nipple because if somebody bangs that hammer somehow, it could discharge the firearm. Well, let's see if I can get it to focus in here. See the little pins coming up there? I'll pull one up this way. It's hard to see, but each between each cap, there's a pin. And remember that groove in the hammer I showed you right there? Well, that groove engages that so that the cylinder cannot turn. And this is not laying on a live, lay, uh, a hot cap. So it can't discharge. So it is safe to carry six rounds um, that way. These things, you don't reload these things. You know, if you're in a firefight, you get your six rounds off and then you either turn this into a club to beat somebody with or you run. This is not something that you would want to reload um, at some point, I'll do a, a shooting video for you guys and show you how slow it is to reload one of these things. Basically, you disassemble the gun to reload it. It is, it is not quick at all. Now, the Remington's, you can change cylinders, and that's, that's uh, a fairly quick proposition compared to the open-top Colts. So, there it is. Like I said, uh, it'll look a lot better once it gets the ivory grips on it. Um, I've had this thing probably, I don't know, a year and a half. I've shot and carried it for about a year and a half. It's been very reliable. Um, other than that, we call it cap sucking. When the caps get stuck on this and get pulled back in here, we call that cap sucking. Other than a, a very minor issue with that, it didn't do it all the time, but it would do it if I really loaded it hot. So... Um, that's why I went with the uh, slick shot nipples and that seems to have resolved the problem. Uh, there are also other things you can do. This is going to go to a gunsmith here pretty quick. They're going to put a post in here that have, and tune the action a little bit more. Um, is it my favorite? It is my second favorite. And I'll do a video to show you guys my favorite in the very near future or I'll mix it in with this video. That's it guys. Thanks, and y'all be safe.